excited about this next step in my course from affirmations to declarations. We just talked about affirmations and declarations and the difference and it really comes down to what is the power behind your accountability for what's happening in your reality and a declaration of reality has oomph behind it. It's like you throw your shoulder into it. So there's an actual sequence for getting from language to a manifested reality. And that sequence is this, I call it the languaging sequence, and it's when you control the language, you declare the imagination. When you control the imagination, you declare the narrative. When you control the narrative, you declare the culture. When you control the culture, you declare the reality. And we're gonna go through in subsequent videos, we're gonna go through those steps. It's important to understand why this sequence is so potent. So as you look at each of the steps, you understand what the map is giving you because it's a blueprint for being able to manifest your reality in steps so that you're actually building your manifestation powers, if you will. I live on a planet that has actual knights and kings and queens, like for real, like had a Persian, direct royalty lineage princess put do her, her uh, 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 family uh, dance thing and recite Rumi to me. Okay, like, like that happens over here. And it's a fun place to be because I'm languaging a reality where I get to have fun while I make a better world for everybody around me. I just declared reality that's going to be my reality. So that's been my reality since 1971 when I was 11 years old. I handled my first gang rape survivor when I was 11 years old. I'm like, your life is going to get better because at this moment, your life sucks. So your life is going to get better. And I don't know how I'm 11 years old. I'll figure it out. That's why, that's why this sequence is so potent because you get to do things like that. You literally get to declare your life as a legend, not just as a story. If you had the choice between doing something really cool and legendary that you love or doing something that's kind of neat that you like, which one would you pick? And some people would pick the like one because they're, you know, the risk thing, that's scary. Got it. If you, the risk thing is scary, and you crave the adventure thing, if you affirm where you are, you're kind of going to stay where you are. If you have the power of declaration, you can just declare that you're going to be brave. And this is a place where I teach people how to be brave. I'm autistic. I'm a 24 person multiple. And I present as a fully functional autistic adult. And I have a world where science companies have hired me as a multiple. I declare the reality where I'm a contributor to society, not a burden on society. That's how powerful this is. This is not woo folks. They wanna wrap it in woo so a lot of us who want power because we want to do good and have it matter so that we might not see it. This is not, ooh, this works. In nine months, I went from downloading and opening to this thing called the Global Culture of Inclusion and Empowerment, the most boring title I've ever come up with in my life. And nine months later, I was in Forbes twice. That's because of this. So if you want to declare reality, here's your sequence. When you control the language, you control the imagination. That's what we're going to look at in this next video. When you control the language, you're declaring the imagination. When you control the imagination, you declare the narrative. 
when you control that narrative, then you declare the culture. And when you control the culture, then you declare a reality. You gotta get everybody on board. So that's why I call the folks who are active in my world, we're on an arc ship. We're, we're the active people on planet JWoww. I'm playing a game with my life in public, <laughs> basically. And folks are coming and playing with me. And we get to do this in ways that actually have us make more money, have more productivity, have higher satisfaction rates with our employees that get them to the point where they're more creative on their behalf and ours. And we take care of them better. We take better care of ourselves. We have better relationships with our spouses and our partners and our kids and our animal friends. We're in better relationship with the world in general. Because we declare a reality where that gets to be true. I get to declare a reality and have done it. This is memory, not metaphor. I declared a reality where I could have a conversation with a Nazi at one point and a KKK member at another point, and at the end of it, have them rethink their hate. And it happened. And that was before I was 21. And I'm 59. So this languaging works. I cannot wait to be able to share this with you. So I'm JWoww, and you're on Planet JWoww. And this course is from affirmations to declarations. And it's four steps for bridging into a reality that you can live into and love. So we're going to start going through the steps. Those are the next videos, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm looking forward to sharing more.